Hey everybody, Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're just trying to have a little fun. Make a little uh, poster, a little poster for uh, my Taurus 22. A little uh, PLY 22. Um, a lot of people are making their own holsters out of Kydex or leather, but I haven't seen anybody make them out of Coroplast, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a little bit crude. This is the first one I've ever done, and, but it'll get better. I just took a piece of uh, envelope from Amazon to make an outline of, of what I wanted the uh, holster to look like. A little template. Nothing special. I just put the, the uh, pistol on a piece of uh, paper there from Amazon and drew it with a magic marker and then folded over and drew it freehand. And then uh, once I got it cut out, I just sort of imagined of how it would work. And see what parts need to be bigger, what part need to be smaller. No uh, science behind it, just trying to eyeball it. And uh, I'm not too happy, but it looks pretty close to what I want. But that's the thing, you want to make sure you make a little uh, experimental pattern before you start cutting around on your, your core plast. So after I got the idea in my head about what I wanted, um, I went ahead and uh, cut a piece of core plast and just transferred the design to it. This particular holster, it's pretty simple and they're just a couple ingredients. I'm using tape, going to be using some Gorilla Tape, some uh, cable ties and some core plast. Now I'm seeing how the pistol fits in that little template I made. I was halfway thinking about just using the uh, paper. <laughs> uh, by the way, the pistol is uh, got the safety on, and there's no cartridge in the, the chamber. Um, and uh, in a minute, I'm going to actually take out the magazine too, so everything's fine. Now, uh, after I get the uh, core plast cut. I'm going to just poke little holes in it with awl and uh, use the cable ties. The cable ties are going to be used as an ex ex expedient. Uh, I don't have any. So I want to do some sail twine and get a, a big needle and, and just and sew it together. And that would have been the best thing. But uh, the cable ties was just allowed me to see how the design worked. Now I'm folding over the Coroplast, seeing how it fits. I was wanting to see if the Coroplast would would bend and uh, get to where it's going to be pressing down on the gun and and not having a big footprint in your in your pocket. Uh, it actually worked out a little bit better than I thought it would. And the uh, Gorilla Tape and the cable ties was. Excellent. I was able to really move the poster around and try to tear it apart, and it held together really good when we got done. So now we're going to cut out the coroplast on the design. Notice how I cut the top off. It was too round on top. It was just too big. But I think I'm going to change the design. Um, to where one side's going to be square and one side's going to be open. So the square part will be on my pants and you'll just see a square uh, footprint there. You uh, won't know it's a pistol. That's the purpose of having a mouse gun is nobody knows you have one. And if you put something in your pocket everybody can see you have a gun. That, what's the purpose of having a mouse gun in your pocket? <laughs> If anybody has any criticism uh, of the, the, the holster, I'd, I'd appreciate uh, reading what they had to say. Uh, particularly if they have any advice on doing something different, because I've never made a pistol holster before. It was just something fun for me to try. I'm enjoying all my do-it-yourself stuff. I know for so many years people would say, why are you doing that? You could buy it at the store. But now when people go to the stores, they realize sometimes you can't go to the store. <laughs> Or when you go to the store, there's nothing there. <laughs> so being able to make stuff on your own is not just fun. It, it can come in handy. 
All right, we got it folded, kind of rough around the edges. Just trimming off the sides there. The tape is going to cover a lot of uh, a multitude of sins. <laughs> you won't be able to see any problems when you put the tape on there. So now it's shaping up. It looks like something we want for a holster. But we don't know yet if it's going to be able to grip the holster and uh, keep it from just falling out of your pocket or grip it too tight to where you can't pull it out of your pocket so don't know yet we're going to find out though now we're going to put some holes in the edges so we can put the holster together with its cable ties like I said earlier I I should have used a uh, some sail twine and a big needle and just sewed wouldn't have needed, needed to use uh, tape even. I was surprised how well the awl worked on the chloroplast. It was real simple and pleasure to use. Cable ties do a good job, just they leave a big piece of uh, plastic sticking out so it's protruding and it uh, will rub against your pants and create a, a pattern on your pants you don't want. When you're trying to hide the fact you have something in your pants. On the other hand, the fact that the, the cable ties do kind of stick out, they make like a lip, it does create uh, resistance and friction to keep the, the poster from coming out of your pocket too easy. The Gorilla Tape worked out pretty good. I was kind of happy with it. something wants to stick to your fingers that well, you know it's going to stick to the, to the holster. Now, once I got it all together, I just started trying to kind of tear it apart to see if I could loosen it up and make it more round and fit the pistol better. But uh, it held together real well. real solid. I didn't want it to hold it too tight to where it would be difficult to pull the pistol out. But I didn't want it too loose where it would just fall. Nice and snug. So all in all I think it worked out pretty decent. It's nothing pretty to look at. In the next design I think I'm going to change it to where it's, it's more square on one side and hide the whole profile of the, pit, the pistol. But it certainly didn't cost hardly anything. You can get that Coroplast for free after the elections are coming up. All those election signs will be out there. You can uh, get them for free and use them for different projects. I'll be putting another pistol on, guys. And I uh, hope this was something you liked. And uh, come back and watch more. Put new stuff on every week. Been doing it for 13 years. Got over 800 videos. And like I said, I do it every week and all sorts of things and different subjects. And uh, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say about the whole screw. The first one I ever did, so I appreciate if you have any tips for me. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video and you all come back and watch more often.